Broadcasting live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Sarah Pizan for FX77 Option. Just one day after floor trading on the New York Stock Exchange was suspended for more than 3.5 hours due to a technical glitch, U.S. stocks are rebounding from yesterday's decline as a jump in Chinese stocks overnight lifted investor sentiment. The Shanghai Composite, after numerous days of declines, was 5.8% higher Thursday for its best day in six years after China put forward new supportive measures, including restrictions on short selling and the loosening of margin lending regulations. On the domestic front, weekly jobless claims rose slightly to 297,000, the highest level since February. And over in commodities, WTI crude oil futures rose for the second straight session as concerns over a supply glut in the U.S. eased following data that showed crude inventories fell for the third consecutive week last week. On the New York Mercantile Exchange, crude oil for July delivery added on 54 cents, or 0.9%. 91% to trade at $59.52 a barrel during morning hours. And here to talk about the crude for FX77 option is Thomas Vitiello of Orem Option Strategies. Well, rates are up a bit, uh, so that's, that's always putting pressure on gold. I think that's more significant, actually, than the FX market at this point. And I guess going in, expecting nothing, you know, that's always risky because if, if something's interpreted one way or the other, you could have a little bit of a move uh, in gold. I think that the market though in, in gold right now is quite neutral and I think if there's anything very, very hawkish or uh, something that really indicates that it's going to happen in September, you could kind of get a little bit of a, a whipsaw. You know, you may see gold sell off. And we conclude with the Forex market as the U.S. dollar edged higher with the euro steady near $1.10. And for FX77 option from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Sarah Pizan.